Today, we're going to talk about a topic that could completely shake up the autonomous car industry as we know it, DeepSeek. Chances are you might not have heard about this AI platform until recently because it started out as a large language model, LLM, not as a driver assistance system. Yet here we are watching major automakers from Nissan to BYD integrate this unexpected technology into their next generation vehicles. Sounds wild, right? That's exactly why I had to dive deeper. Why in the world would car manufacturers adopt an LLM originally designed for natural language processing? And how on earth might this shift impact the big players like Tesla? We'll explore those questions and more using the latest coverage on DeepSeek that you can find linked in the video description below. Definitely check Check it out if you want to read up on the specific. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you might just come away thinking that DeepSeek could be the next big thing in autonomous driving, even though it was never meant to be part of a car in the first place. First off, let's clarify exactly what we're dealing with here. DeepSeek is an open source large language model that's been making headlines for its remarkably efficient compute usage. According to a recent Reuters article, and further detailed in an analysis by Bain and company, this LLM was originally developed for tasks like text generation, data analysis, and other back-end functions. In other words, DeepSeek wasn't built to power your car, it was built to handle language and data at scale then why is it the talk of the auto world? A few reasons, actually. One key factor is that DeepSeek is open source. Most commercial AI or autonomous driving platforms are proprietary. Think Tesla's full self-driving suite or even mobilize systems. Those are heavily guarded technologies that you can't just take and modify for your own purposes. DeepSeek flips that script by being open to the developer community. Automakers can tinker with it, adapt it, and integrate it as they see fit all without starting from scratch on a brand new AI system. The reason behind DeepSeek's efficiency is related to how it handles only a portion of its billions of parameters at a time. It can selectively activate just the parts of the network it needs for a given piece of data, rather than lighting up the entire architecture. This approach, often referred to as sparsity, or selective parameter usage, allows DeepSeek to be both powerful and economical with resources. The open source nature of DeepSeek further amplifies its appeal because developers across the globe can modify and optimize it for niche use cases, share improvements back with the community, and iteratively refine the model's capabilities. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, a quick thumbs up goes a long way in letting me know you're here for the deep dives. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. So how did we jump from compute efficient LLM to the future of autonomous cars? Let's break it down. Car manufacturers are always on the lookout for technology that can improve both safety and the driving experience. Advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, and semi-autonomous features are becoming a key selling point in modern cars. If your brand doesn't offer lane keeping, adaptive cruise control, or emergency braking, you might lose out to competitors that do. Traditionally, these ADAS features are built on specialized software designed to process sensor data. That software often comes with steep licensing fees. Plus, it can be challenging to integrate with a car's existing infotainment or operating systems. DeepSeek, however, is flexible. It's open source, so manufacturers don't have to pay a fortune for licenses or worry about being locked into a single AI provider they can tweak and optimize the model to fit their hardware, whether that hardware is a budget-friendly commuter EV or a high-end luxury sedan. Moreover, because DeepSeek's architecture is relatively lightweight on compute usage, it can run on smaller onboard computers without hogging resources. For automakers, that means lower production costs, less need for expensive hardware components, and a more efficient car overall. If you're a manufacturer looking to offer advanced AI features, you can see the appeal. No sky-high licensing fees, no overblown CPU or GPU requirements, and a system that can keep evolving through open source contributions. Now let's look at how this is playing out in the real world. Nissan, BYD, and numerous Chinese automakers have recently announced or hinted at adopting DeepSeek in their upcoming models. An article from Electrek notes that Nissan is integrating DeepSeek tech into its new N7 EV. This is a pretty big statement. Nissan has been serious about electrification for years, and now they're stepping up their game in the AI department. Meanwhile, the Economic Times reports that BYD 
one of China's largest and most innovative EV makers, is partnering with DeepSeek to develop advanced driver assistance features. What's interesting here is that BYD had other options. They could have gone with established solutions from Mobileye or built out a system entirely in-house. Instead, they're betting on DeepSeek's open source approach and reduced computational overhead. In a market as competitive as China's, that kind of partnership could genuinely tip the scales. Car News China also highlights that multiple Chinese automakers are accelerating their adoption of DeepSeek. For many of these companies, time is of the essence. China has one of the fastest growing EV and smart car markets in the world, with consumers constantly on the hunt for the latest and greatest tech. If you're an automaker, you don't want to get left behind while everyone else touts AI-driven features. This sense of urgency pushes them to jump on board with a solution that's ready to go without cumbersome licensing or massive hardware changes. All of these partnerships lead to a fascinating scenario. An LLM that was never intended to be an automotive platform is quickly becoming the backbone for next-gen ADAS systems in cars sold around the globe. And because DeepSeek is open source, each automaker's improvements could potentially loop back into the wider DeepSeek community, further improving the technology for everyone involved. Of course, the elephant in the room here is Tesla, the best-known player in advanced driver assistance and self-driving features. Tesla's approach has always been in-house. They collect tons of driving data from their global fleet and use proprietary AI models to process it. That strategy has given Tesla a first-mover advantage and a loyal following. Could DeepSeek disrupt that? If DeepSeek adoption keeps accelerating, one key advantage Tesla holds, massive amounts of real-world driving data may start to wane. Imagine if Nissan, BYD, and a handful of other brands collectively sell millions of cars equipped with DeepSeek. The combined data could rival or even surpass Tesla's in volume and diversity. Since DeepSeek is open source, that data can be leveraged across different markets and vehicle types, potentially allowing DeepSeek's AI to evolve at breakneck speed. Moreover, Tesla faces regulatory scrutiny in many regions for its bold claims around full self-driving. If another system demonstrates comparable performance but with fewer controversies, Tesla's lead might narrow. There's also the matter of brand identity. For some buyers, Tesla's closed ecosystem approach and premium pricing might not be as attractive as a more open, collaborative solution that's possibly more affordable. That doesn't mean Tesla is doomed, of course. They've got a robust head start, a devoted customer base, and an enormous headcount of AI engineers continuously refining their system. But it does highlight a shift in the market. As open source AI becomes more viable, car makers might question the costs and limitations of a proprietary approach. We could see more and more big name partnerships with DeepSeek or other open source platforms, creating a broader ecosystem that competes head to head with Tesla on features, safety, and cost. So there you have it. A large language model that wasn't originally meant for cars is now finding its way into some of the most cutting-edge EVs on the planet. DeepSeek's open-source nature, compute efficiency, and adaptability have made it an unlikely superstar in the push for better driver assistance and autonomous tech. Whether it's Nissan's N7 EV or BYD's latest releases, big players are clearly taking notice. The really exciting part? This shift could accelerate the pace of innovation across the entire auto industry. Open source platforms tend to evolve faster as more developers contribute code and real world data. Within a few short years, we might see cars that feature even more advanced, intuitive AI, not just for staying in your lane or parking, but for tasks we haven't even imagined yet. And if that leads to safer roads, better resource allocation, and more options for consumers. It's hard to see it as anything but a net positive. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope it gave you a clearer picture of why DeepSeek might just take over the autonomous car industry and what that means for the future of driving. If you found this content helpful or entertaining, a quick like and a share would be super appreciated. It helps me keep doing deep dives just like this. And don't forget to check out all the sources I've mentioned. I've linked them down in the description for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.